Hi guys, I'm sure glad you made it for another video with Kit from DE Shave Top with Kit. I'd like to thank especially all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And so that you can catch all my previous videos and all the videos to come. Today, I'm pretty excited about, about this video and about the shave. Uh, what uh, what the stars of the show today? First star will be this one. It is the Yaki 26 millimeter Mysteria Space Tuxedo Knot Brush. Real beauty, beautiful handle and a nice big fat 26 millimeter tuxedo and the second star of the show is the Yaki 24 millimeter Naples uh, tuxedo knot brush uh, I'll explain in a minute while we're using two brushes in the video. It's going to be really fun. And of course, the razor is the razor of choice. This is the Yaki Your Choice razor, equipped with my favorite of the three heads, the scallop head. That will be the razor of choice today. I have one more Yaki brush that I do love. It's a nice one. Uh, I, I have it here as a comparison. Uh, this one is self-explanatory and it has a, a typical normal size handle for the size of the brush. Comfortable, good handle, feels good, nice brush self-explanatory. This one, however, was a surprise when I got this one in the mail. Uh, a su big surprise uh, because, let me show you why. This brush and this brush are virtually identical with the 24 millimeter uh, wide and the 52 millimeter high tuxedo knot and performance on these two brushes is virtually identical with the exception of what I'm going to point out that's the, the reason that I'm showing you this brush is that it is so similar and yet so different in a, in a way. Um, this brush has a kind of a short handle. It is a comfortable handle and it is very, uh, well, I think it's cool looking. It's, it's really a, a cool looking brush and, and it performs well. But let me show you something here. When you go to put this one away, you have to, on, on these typical 90% of the racks that you can get on the market today are that size right there and you have to squeeze this knot like that and you and then slide it through that opening in order to hang the brush because it won't it won't go any other way so that's how you have to hang it so then I get this brush really comfortable and the handle is oh uh, Let's see. The handle's considerably longer, but it's also considerably narrower, and and so it's real. It's it's surprisingly comfortable. Uh, boy, you can paint well with this brush. Uh, I was very surprised, even though it's uh, that narrow across. Extremely comfortable to hold, extremely easy to paint the lather. But watch this. When I'm all done with this, rinse it out, shake it, 
And then, check us, guys. Okay, is that sweet or what? I mean, I, I, it may sound like a small thing, but you know, for me, I think that's nice. The fact that 90% of your uh, shave stands that you can purchase on the market, this brush, even though it's a 24 millimeter, big enough to be a great performer, you can hang the dang thing up where you should be able to hang it up. Uh, so this Naples brush has now become a very appealing brush to me because of its performance, its size, and its storability. Okay, moving on. What the plan is going to be for the shave today, it's, it's called a layer technique for the soap application. I typically, well, let's say I've, I never do Franken soaps where I take one soap and mix it with another, another soap in order to get a third soap. I don't like doing that. Um, I haven't been successful in, in finding a combination when I try to mix the soaps together that I like. But I have found that I do like to layer apply soaps. So what I'm going to do, I, I'm going to, in the shave today, I'm, this is fine la orange uh, scent and it smells like a like an orange peel rind, very dry orange scent, uh, really a nice scent, uh, dry, not, not sweet. I'm going to first apply a layer uh, of the fine La Orange, uh, dry orange scented uh, soap. And before I shave, I, I'm going to have whipped up some of this uh, Kiss My Face uh, Cool Mint soap. I'm going to have that lathered up in the scuttle. It's going to look like sweet cool mint candy. And that's exactly what it smells like. So I'm going to have the dry La Orange uh, scent on my face. And then I'm going to slap on top of it with this brush the Kiss My Face uh, Cool Mint, which will just, the combination of this soap with that soap on top uh, is just uh, an old factory experience. You'll just have to try to believe how good it is. And the shave, uh, when, you, when you layer, not, com not, uh, not mix, but when you layer the two soaps. It's, it's uh, one of the best shaves I have ever got in my life. So I did do this off camera. I know how well it works. So I'm really excited to uh, demonstrate that along with shaving with my number one favorite razor, the Yaki Your Choice with the closed comb scallop head on it. Okay, so I'm going to set up uh, and I'll come back and we'll We'll start the procedure. Okay, ready to go. I put three squirts of uh, this in my pre-warm scuttle. I'll bring it up to you here because I do. I would like you to see, uh, you know, how this brush. Whips it up. Get those early bubbles out of there. Okay. No time at all. No time at all and we're getting Perfect whipped cream here. Cool. Man, candy whipped cream.
Here we go. So, that's that one whipped up and ready to go. So we'll leave that set right there in the scuttle. Let me take this one and put some warm water on it. Get that one ready to go. Okay, dipped it in warm water. We shook out most of the water. Won't take long. This is uh, these tuxedo uh, knots. They're amazing. Uh, they're amazing um, uh, lathering machines. That's that's one of the reasons that, and when it comes to tuxedo, uh, I mean uh, synthetics, that uh, uh, tuxedo knots are, to be honest with you, just my absolute favorite. Not in a synthetic. I'm not talking about my two bound badgers, which is this wonderful brush too, but uh, in a synthetic, give me a tuxedo in a day. Now, you see that? Very loaded up. So this is the one that's going to be the first layer on my face. So, I'll be back in just a minute here. Change the angle of the camera. We'll throw it on the face. Okay, I'm back. So I got the LaFine and I kissed my face ready to go on the respective brushes. Bowl of hot water. I uh, put some warm water on my face and uh, directly from the puck with this brush, the Mysteria Space 26mm, we're going to throw on the first layer in the layered sense. Well, look at that. I don't care if I get it on my shirt, shirt's going right in the laundry after I shave anyway. So, uh... I'm not one of these people that shower before I shave. I shave and then I shower, so... Look out. Now... As you can see... That mysterious Jackie 26 millimeter brush really did a good job. However, I'm not done yet. I, I've got to put on my Cool Mint Candy Whipped Cream. Okay, here we go. We got the uh, Naples. Yaki Naples 24 millimeter tuxedo brush with that nice skinny handle that hangs up so nice. Now check this. Look at this. Oh, oh my word. So believe it or not, I you know when you apply it like this, you're you're not ruining the shave protective qualities of either soap. You got one underneath and one on top. Uh, trust me on this. It, uh, it, it it gives an incredible shave and the smell. Oh my god. The dry orange scent underneath and the candied cool yet whipped cream on top. It, um I'm speechless. Okay. Favorite reason? Yaki, your choice. The one that comes with with the three heads. Okay. First, we're going to shave like this. Then I'm going to shave like that. I'm going to do a simple two-pass. 
So here we go. Good audio feedback. Crystal Blade. And DE Shave Talk with Kit's favorite, all-time favorite razor, right here. Yaki, your choice. Beautiful tool. Very efficient. Feel the blade, but it's not harsh. I know it's a little quiet there. Concentration. Kind of important when you shave. If I cut myself today, it's going to be the first time in a long time since I've been using my favorite razor. You know what's great is when you get a razor and a blade, I use crystal blades in this. Uh, you know, a lot of the guys on the Shave Channel, they're always changing up their razors and uh, changing up their blades and all of that. And You know, I know I do have a Shave Channel and all. And I guess some of that's expected. Uh, if you got a shave channel, but be honest with you, I'd be happy to shave every day with this blade, with that razor, and with a good yaki brush. Good shave soap, and I'm a happy camper. I hope you guys will try this layering technique as opposed to the Franken soap technique. It, uh, at least the soaps that I'm layering, the fine and the kiss my face, if you ever get a better, more protective shave, I want to know about it because I've never got a better one. Ever.
Okay, let's call it good. That's uh, pass one. I'm just, I'm only going to take two passes today. But, I'm doing the same thing I did the first time. First goes the dry orange scent, la orange. And I put the I put this one down first because I don't have a better soap in my den for for shave. And this is the one I want I want to leave. The po shave is the fine. And it will it will do the job. Not that you kiss my face. It's bad for poche, but it doesn't compare to this one. Okay, now how did that brush do? Pretty, pretty darn good, right? All right, let's slap a little bit of the whipped cream, cool mint whipped cream from Kiss My Face. Woo! Are you digging this? Uh, if you could, uh, if you could only if you could only smell these two together. I mean, I just want to, is there any way you can eat your face? Because I, it, oh, it's making me hungry right now. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's such a dessert where you got the dry orange peel and 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 a mint candy. I don't, I don't know, but it smells like some kind of an out of this world dessert. Oh God! I hmm. Okay. And as you can see, if if you think if you could if you if you get a better paint of lather with a. Any brush, I want to know about it because look at that. Okay, this is a final pass. I'm gonna go down like this on that side, according to my beard map, and like this on that side, and over like that under my chin. I think I'm gonna do under my chin first. A little more fine, a little more mint, go cool mint. I'm a little far away from the camera, so you may not be able to. Uh, May not be able to hear the audio, but uh, the audio feedback, but there's plenty of it with this razor. Your choice. It's a beautiful razor and it's flexible with three heads. What a deal. Okay, now I got under the neck 
I'm going to go down this way and across that way. Sorry about that. Wouldn't you know it, just before I finished that shave, my camera timed out on me and I didn't even know it. Okay, but anyway, what I did was I finished that shave and then did my uh, post shave. and uh, It was just a two-pass shave. I didn't even have to do a cleanup. And uh, did my routine and threw on all my uh, post shave ingredients and nice smooth shave and came out great. So I want to thank all, all my subscribers especially and uh, all, all the first time viewers for watching uh, this video and please come back and uh, watch more of my videos and subscribe. It really, uh, really helps me out, encourages me to do more videos for you guys. Uh, thanks a lot for tuning in today, uh, DE Shave Talk with Kit.